The Season 1 Reloaded update is here, and they made a lot of great changes to Warzone. We've got quality of life changes, we've got a great playlist moving forward, and we've got some weapon balancing, which we're going to start off with right here. In terms of the new weapon, we have one new weapon with this update. It's a close quarters option, unlockable via weapon challenge or store bundle. Now, just a quick tip. We have no idea whether this thing's going to be absolutely meta or it's going to be absolutely terrible. Wait for some people to drop in with it and see if it's actually good before you go through the process of unlocking it or buying it. So, just a quick tip there for you. Now, in terms of weapon balancing, really one major change right here, which is the Akimbo P890s, X12, Basilic, and the Deagles have received a damage reduction against armored opponents. The Akimbo Kimbo P890s and the X12s were pretty broken in, they were very broken in close quarters. So those did receive a nerf right there. In terms of the rest of the weapon balancing, M13B with a slight change, Cast Off 545 with a slight buff, Cast Off 74U with a minor nerf right here, small reduction to close damage. We got the MX9 with a slight buff, the Vel, which I think some of you do like using because it is the MP7, given a slight buff right here, increased movement speed, increased damage range. The rest of it, nothing's really changed besides shotguns can no longer kill a fully armored player in one shot, which is good to know. But notice what's not on this list. RPK, Cast Off 762, Snipers, Lockman, Sub. Of Fennec. None of those are on this list, so our loadout meta hasn't changed too much. Now, next up, looking at vehicles right here, nothing's really changed with vehicles that you need to be aware of. The heavy tank or the heavy choppers are still absolutely broken. When we look at friendly player visibility, this is just a minor change. How many times have you died because you thought it was your, your teammate and because of the nameplate and it wasn't? Well, it seems like they've now fixed that. This way, it's very clear who's an enemy and who's an actual teammate. We skip kill streaks. This is another big one here for players looking to drop higher kill games. Portable radars can now stick to vehicles. You can throw a portable radar down on a vehicle, drive around, and get some information about where people are and then figure out how you want to approach that fight next up we go to attachments here nothing really changed they made some slight adjustments to thermal optics which i still don't think are going to be that good and they made some slight adjustments to tuning now let's get into actual war zone changes here which by the way if you are looking to get better at war zone make sure you are subscribed down below i do videos just about every single day trying to help you improve as a war zone player get more kills get more wins you know all that stuff so if you are looking to get better just consider subscribing below let's talk about playlist update we've got 150 players in solos we've got duos we've got quads now this is the big one right here well these are the two big ones right here we've got mini royale trios now understand that this is not resurgence this is not where you are respawning back in on a respawn timer this is simply a smaller map for people who may not want to play or may not have time to play 25 to 30 minute matches so this is going to be smaller parts of almazra 54 players trios and the games will be a little bit quicker my guess is they're probably going to be around 15 minutes as opposed to 25 to 30 we also have third person trios i know a lot of you out there love the third person game mode so they did add that back in finally we do have the warzone cup which if we scroll up here is basically warzone meets rocket league so you see right here you're going to have warzone meets rocket league you're going to be able to play that for a little bit and this is just for the next week by the well we don't know if it's for the next week we don't know how long it is it could be a month we have no idea but for right now this is what we're working with play um in terms of our playlist in terms of map just general improvements to lighting and shadows now let's talk about the big one right here this is the biggest change stronghold and black sight ai i mean look there's two issues right here first they are going to increase the number of active strongholds to five up from three the three could be sometimes very far away there could be a lot of teams on those so they're going to disperse that out just a little bit we are now going to have five strongholds that'll make it a little bit easier to get your load out but when you went there and you were fighting the ai the ai were absolutely absolute demons so now what are we working with ai combatants the damage per bullet reduced by 26 percent so they're going to do less damage the number of units per site reduced by 50 percent so there's not going to be as many of them and then based and there there's more reductions based on squad sizes so if there are 20 bots in quads there's not going to be 20 bots in solos it's going to kind of it's going to be less as the playlist kind of dies down a little bit ai combatant reinforcements double time between waves which by the way this is an important one right here because remember if you weren't the first person to the stronghold then you could actually come kill a few bots and get your load out well now it's double the time between waves so there may not be bots when you get there you may have to wait a little bit and the number of units per wave reduced by 30 percent. so we're going to see less less bots right there and then we got the black site as well in terms of other stuff, bomb drones, player with three armor plates on the outer radius of an explosion will survive, but receive critical damage. So you'll be broken here, you'll probably receive a little bit extra damage, but overall you're going to be able to survive that as opposed to what it was previously, which is you went down immediately. 
default loadouts have been updated. My guess right here is, and I haven't dropped in yet, my guess right here is they removed the scout default loadout. So I bet there's no more bird's eye. I bet they realized that bird's eye was broken. And in terms of the solution, they probably just removed scout, but we'll see again in the next few days as we drop in. Just some other quality of life changes. Very important stuff here. This one, player revival alert. A sound will play to alert nearby players when a player has been revived. Super frustrating when you get it down, you're pushing up and you have no idea that that player is alive, plating, and then he re-challenges you and you end up going down. So we now have a player revival alert. Ammunition. When players drop a weapon, their respective ammunition will also drop on the ground. Moving forward, this ammunition will automatically be looted should other players with a partial stack of the same ammunition walk over it. So if you have AR ammo, now when you walk over it, it will automatically pick it up. Once again, right here, we are looking at a little bit of a throwback to Warzone 1 looting where you would auto pick up stuff. Now, you auto pick up stuff that's on the walls and out of supply crates, but you did not auto pick up stuff out of backpacks or out of, you know, from an enemy that you killed. So that has now been changed ground loot we've made improvements to ground loot priority so that interacting with desired items is easier i think this is what this, these two right here are some of the biggest issues that people have right now with looting so it seems like those have been fixed Items purchased via buy stations will spawn spread out rather than stacked. I'm just guessing that's if you spam certain... Oh, this is actually if you spam plates, probably. Or if you spam another thing, it'll spread out a little bit. Gulag elimination, a sound plate to notify the squad when a member in the gulag has been eliminated by an opponent or been eliminated. So this is actually kind of helpful. I... Didn't It didn't dawn on me at first, but how many times have you been in the gulag and not known whether your teammate's alive or dead? The one that you're actually playing with. I think this actually fixes it. The other big one right here is combat record, guys. I hate to break this to you. But Warzone 2 combat records are not launching. There is a bug with them, as we can see right here, due to concerns about the accuracy of the data population. They're continuing to work on it, and the implementation of leaderboards you know, will be at some point. So for right now, here's the good news for you. Continue to use this time to improve. Make mistakes because your KD is not affected, and when the combat leaderboards come out, the combat records, we are going to be in prime position to understand how to play this game, understand the pace of play, how to get more kills, and die a little less. In terms of bug fixes, we see a lot of bug fixes guys there's a lot of things that they are changing i mean this list goes on and on forever and they're making changes to everything so overall i think this game's in a really good spot guys i think this right here is the biggest change that we're looking at the ability to get your loadout you still can't buy a loadout just yet but the audio is still not fixed we saw audio up here guys but this is not really anything right dolby atmos data issue where they were not painting to ceiling speakers that's for people who are playing with surround sound and audio occlusion remains disabled in multiplayer so still not changes to audio but i think overall guys we are getting this game into a good spot i think it's going to be a lot more fun i think this is going to be a blast right here this mini royale trios i think a lot of you are going to enjoy that so overall guys Let's see how it is. Let's keep giving this game a little bit more time. I think we're going to be A-OK, -okay, especially as they continue to make updates. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.